Hey, I'm Lucifer the Service Dog, and we're going shopping today. This is how my mom and I navigate stores, especially the tight ones. When we're about to go around a tight corner that we might not fit through together, she puts me in a downstay or a sit stay, depending on what I want to do. And then she'll go around the corner, and sometimes she'll have to turn around and make sure that we're going the right way or something. And I stay where I'm put, and I wait, and I wait, and then she comes back, and we get to keep going. We come around the corner, and I stay back. That way I don't get smushed. And if there's a time that it looks like I'm not going to fit, I just kind of lag behind. But right now, my mom told me to wait because she wasn't sure she needed to go this way. But she didn't want to have to back me up in that corner. And honestly, as you can tell, I'm not real sure she knows where she's going either. But here we are. And apparently, I did a good boys because I'm getting a treat. All right, let's go back through this weird tunnel again. Dad, are you seeing this? Look how good I am. I know how to do all the corners. But this is an example of how a service dog handler in a wheelchair might get around public spaces. You don't really notice when you're up and walking around how narrow these spaces really are. And most of the time, things are only built for wheelchair width, not wheelchair plus service dog width. I don't know how to tell you guys this, but the world isn't thinking of me all the time. I know, I know, that comes as a surprise, but I'm the best boy and I deserve room too. So if you ever see a service dog doing this kind of stuff, Know that we're doing it for a reason, so we and our handlers don't get hurt. And if we do it good, we get treats.